You may have clicked this link because you're trying to get in on the gold care bar scam. <laughs> Not this time. This is BQ, and I do this for the Global Force Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? Hey, boys and girls, welcome. This is Global Force Wrestling Gold, turning a negative into a positive. This is not the Gold Carabar scam. We are talking about what I thought was the best segment on the past episode of Impact. Now, I'm not going to be talking about in ring stuff, more like promos, backstage work, things like that. Now, honorable mention does go to Eli Drake for the opening segment of the show. I thought he did some phenomenal mic work, as he always does. However, I thought the segment was a little paint-by-numbers when uh, Eddie Edwards and Johnny Impact came out, and then they did the whole authority angle and made a tag team match, so little paint-by-numbers for me. Another segment which I thought was really good, and maybe it was just because me and it cracked me up, was when Allie was icing her head backstage. She was talking with Braxton Sutter. And Garza Jr. came out with a very Hollywood-esque type Spanish accent, which is his real accent, but I'm just saying, I laughed at the way he came out came out, and said, are you okay? And uh, Braxton hit him with the Comprende Rico Suave. But what I thought was the best segment of the show, what I thought was gold, was very early on in the show when Allie went to approach Taryn Terrell about why she was so mean to Miss Gale. Here is the audio clip. What? Why were you so mean to Miss Gale um, last week? I, Allie, honestly, I, it's been weighing on my mind a lot lately. Yeah, because because you guys were like best friends. You were like BFFs. Just like Gale and Taryn, it's just like so exciting, you know. And I, I just kind of feel like it's been it's been a, it's been a lot. I mean, I'm feeling a little remorseful. You know what? Honestly, since you and Gale are such good friends, do you think you could give her a message from me? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh yeah, gosh. I totally can. That would be so yeah. sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, there's a message. Oh, no. Taryn Terrell are so effing annoying. All right, so I thought they went back to something that worked in the past, and that was getting the baby face sympathy for Allie. To me, Taryn hasn't lost a step. She feels extremely natural, and we'll see how she does in the ring, but she was able to go out there and generate a little bit of heel heat. It also sets something up for the knockouts division that isn't necessarily centered around the title. And yes, you can agree that there's going to be a tag team match next week with Sienna, and Taryn against Allie and Gale, but including Taryn in something small with Allie and something bigger with Gale keeps Gale away from the knockouts title picture, which I think is a positive thing for everybody at the moment. Now don't get it confused, just because she got jumped and plays the airhead, she's no longer being booked as someone who can't wrestle. As much as people want to see more of a Cherry Bomb type character, Cherry Bomb would have been a very vanilla wrestler in the knockouts division. Some of you may disagree with that, but that's my thoughts on it. The fact that she used the term effing when referring to her being annoying shows that they're pushing the line, just like I said last week when they were bleeping out everything with James Storm and America's Top Team. Now, feuds are believable when they're speaking like real everyday people, like the way you and I would speak if we didn't like each other. When you're in a blood feud with someone and you're calling an oppo your opponent a phony or a coward, it gets over like a fart in church because nobody talks like that. So, Global Force Wrestling fans, I want to know what you thought about the segment with Taryn and Allie, and are you excited for the tag team match that we're going to see next week? Thanks for listening, guys. This is BQ. Hit the subscribe button. We'll talk to you soon.